Hi, today we're going to dive into 10 different AI generation websites and see how they perform when given the same prompt. We'll determine which site is the best one and ultimately the question remains, is there a better AI generator than Midjourney? So let's start with DALI 2. Okay, the prompt is a realistic portrait of an old rugged giant with traditional clothes, cinematic 4K octane render trending on art station. Generate. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. It's not very realistic. The generation actually looks like a doll, something painted. Not very good generation. Let's see out of the four of them, which one is the best one. I have to say all of them are not very good. Okay, so I'll take this one. And now for the scores. For comprehension, I gave it six. Realism, two. Creativity, five. An average of 4.3. Not a good start, but uh, let's continue. Let's uh, try this prompt at Dream Studio. Okay, realistic portrait of an old rugged giant. I'll uh, choose the portrait mode. Four by seven, image count four, dream. Oh my God. <laughs> Duplicate city. OMG, okay. I think I'll give it another chance. Maybe we'll do one by one. <laughs> Change the aspect ratio. <laughs> okay, dream again. Ah, wow, much better. They certainly have all the um, traditional clothes. The eye is a little bit weird. I think this one is maybe the best one. And now for the scores. For comprehension, I gave it 9. Realism, 6. And creativity, 7. An average of 7.3. So this is it for uh, Dream Studio. Let's try this prompt at Leonardo AI. Portrait mode, 4x3. Leonardo signature. Four images generate. Hmm. Okay. It's not too bad. I like this one. Doesn't look like traditional clothes. The face is uh, impressive. Oh, this is actually gave me two images and this helmet. This one is a very nice face. I don't know why it gave me a helmet also here. Now for the scores. For comprehension, I gave it six. Realism 8, Creativity 8, an average of 7.3. That's it for Leonardo AI. Up to the next one. Let's try the same prompt at Night Cafe. I'll choose uh, the stable diffusion one. Here I'll select the SDXL beta. I'll add the prompt. Do four images. I want portrait mode. Create. Not too bad. Let's see each one of them. This one actually has traditional clothes it's not as realistic as so like in leonardo but uh, actually very nice generation and now for the scores for comprehension i gave it nine realism seven creativity seven an average of 7.6 that's it for night cafe let's try the same prompt at playground ai this one has a lot of options. Filter. I'll choose none to see how it deals with the prompt without any presets. I'll choose four images. I'll choose the engine playground version one. Generate. Certainly looks like traditional clothes. It looks like more or less three of them. The same giant, but different angles. I think this one is the best one. The score here is comprehension nine. Realism 7, Creativity 6, an average of 7.3. This is it for uh, Playground AI. Let's try the same prompt at Instant Art. Okay, I'll choose Portrait, uh, the model, anything version 3, image count 3, copy the same prompt, generate. Okay, it's ready. They're better than Dali, that's for sure, but they're not up to par with the other. Uh, it looks more like an illustration than a, a photograph. Let's try change it to stock analog diffusion generate. I think they are much more realistic than the 
the other ones that we had actually looks like photograph maybe this one only is with the uh, traditional clothes so it's not too bad and now for the scores for comprehension i gave it eight realism seven creativity six and average of seven and that's it for instant art we'll give dali another chance through the microsoft bing image creator okay let's try it does look a little bit better than the original i won't say it's up to par with other image generation not very realistic it did get the traditional clothes right and the scores are comprehension nine realism five creativity six an average of 6.6 6. and that's it for microsoft bing image creator Let's try the same prompt at Adobe Firefly. Realistic portrait of an old rugged giant with traditional clothes. Generate. I'll change it to portrait mode. This one actually has the traditional uh, clothes very uh, prominent. Very nice. I think the eyes here is a, li a little bit weird and I don't know why it's sticking his tongue out. I think this one is the, the better one out of all of them. And the scores are Comprehension 9, Realism 5, Creativity 7, and Average of 7. If you want to learn more about Adobe Firefly, you can check my video. So I've decided to try it also in Blue Willow on Discord. Let's try it. Enter. Okay, we've got our results now. I think they are actually very nice results, photorealistic, I'm pleasantly surprised. It did get the um, traditional close, upscale, 3, 1. Doesn't actually look like a giant, more like a regular person. And the scores are comprehension, 8, realism, 8, creativity, 7, and average of 7.6. So that's it for Blue Willow. So I tried it, of course, in mid-journey. This is the baseline for quality now. You can see how it turned out here. This is a mid-journey version 4. It does look uh, pretty realistic, something weird with the eyes here. It did get the traditional clothes. It's very impressive. I think this one, the more interesting one. I also tried it on Midjourney version 5. I think the results are amazing. And the scores are Comprehension 9, Realism 8, Creativity 9, an average of 8.6. And the final results are Midjourney number 1, Blue Willow and Night Cafe number 2, and Playground AI, Dream Studio and Leonardo AI on number 3. Please let me know in the comments which is your favorite AI tools and see you in the next video.